Hi guys. This is the Nobby Dream Tab. It is the Model A, so it has the Intel processor, not the NVIDIA. The factory reset steps for the Intel Dream Tab is different than on the NVIDIA, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, you start with the Dream Tab powered off, and then you're going to press, let's remove the bumper so that you can see the power buttons easier and know that you're, you're pressing them per, uh, correctly. So you're going to start with holding down the volume plus button and then hold the power button down until it powers on. So volume plus and power together. When you see the powered by Android screen release. You're going to get the system menu should pop up here in a second. Okay, so when you get this screen, you're going to use the volume minus button to scroll down to recovery and then hit the power. If you only want to reboot then just go down one to reboot. But right now you're going down two to do the factory reset so you hit recovery and then the power button to select it. And when you get to this screen, you're going to press the minus, volume minus, to get to wipe data, and then the power button to select it. Volume minus button again to yes, delete all user data. The power button to select it. Now you just wait for it to erase. Sometimes this could take a very long time. Um, it could take up to five to seven minutes. Sometimes it might only take a couple of minutes. It really depends on how much information is on the tablet that you're erasing. Just be patient with it and allow it to finish. Okay, when it gets to this screen, you're just going to hit the power button. Power button will select reboot system now. At this point, still do not interrupt the process because it is still factory resetting the device. You're going to see this screen for a few minutes. Again, just allow it to continue without interrupting. And now it should reboot and it should start you up in the welcome screen so that you can either create your account all over again, a new one, or if you've already got an existing account, then at this point you'll want to just sign in. Okay, so let's press the power button just one time and it'll take you right into the welcome screen so you can go ahead and sign back into your Google account and sign into your Nobby account. If you do not have a Google account or a Nobby account already then this will give you the chance to go ahead and set it up and it'll walk you through everything. And that's all there is to the factory reset. I hope this helps and uh, continue to keep an eye out on my YouTube channel for any other videos. I should be posting some more soon. Bye bye.